Yes, hello everyone. This is your guy Devin the Geek here again and bringing you yet another video. I'm in a different location in the house right now, so you might hear background noises, so don't pay that any attention. Um, today I'm doing a video on, you know, great player alternatives. Um, oh, basically a friend needs help with, you know, VLC player on how to like work some things in it, so I'm going to show them. And while I'm at that, um, I, I thought I would just do this video for um, a lot of my subscribers here. I know a lot of you out there probably use certain players and things of that nature, and they probably eat up a lot of RAM. I know iTunes, it eats up uh, a lot of RAM, CPU, because, you know, those programs, they run differently and they have more things added to them. But um, the VLC player, it's actually a very lightweight program to run your media with. It, it can run pretty much um, any video format out there. So you go here to video, what is this, videoland.org, and you download a VLC player. So let's get to the basics on how to work the program and all those good things. And I'll show you some extra um, little things in there too as well to help you. So let's move on. Okay, here is VLC player. It's right here. When you open it, it's just going to be this little box shaped thing. And that's pretty much it. First, we're going to come down here and look at these buttons. Here's the play button to play your media. And here's the um, previous mode button. You know, to skip around, to skip to different chapters. A stop button and another skip button to skip forward. And this is to make it full screen, as you can read down there. And right here, this is the playlist. You can put all your things in here, like a playlist. If you ever had iTunes or something like that, you can see all your things in a playlist. That's very handy and useful. Right here is the um, the the effects, or some people like to call it the um, equalizer. I was going to call it something else, but yeah, this is the equalizer, and you can change the audio pitches and the and the way a video or song sounds with this. You can make it flat, um, classical, club, dance, full bass, all kinds, all kind of things. You just have to play with this yourself and see what you like more video effects you can add video effects that's really neat again you're gonna have to play with this um, you know come to it and play with it and see what you like so let me uncheck that I don't want any video effects so let me close that okay let's move on um, let's go to the media on so say you got a DVD and you want to play a movie first you're gonna go to media come down to where you see open disk click it and you're gonna to come to this window now you wanna find a DVD make sure you have DVD selected instead of you know if depending on your CD or whatever you're trying to play so I, I have a DVD and I'm going to you know it's already selected so I'm gonna find it but as, as you can see here it doesn't say anything so what I'm gonna do is go to browse and it's gonna bring this little window up and search for computer right here close this if this is up your um, C drive you don't need your C drive right now so um, it's right here find your disk drive which is right here mine is the E drive and the movie is right here so I'm gonna press open I'm gonna highlight it now it's highlighted and I want to press OK and now the movie is being ready to play so I'm gonna press play and here it is it's going to open and there we go the movie is playing here's the start menu or you know the menu screen and there you go it's that easy so let me stop that okay and let's go to playback here you can do more options and all kind of things that you can you know you, you just have to look at it yourself but here I mean there's pretty much nothing that you can't do down here but there are extra things that you can do but again you're gonna have to play with that yourself but I never really get off into this myself because I have all the options I need down here so let's go to audio again you can disable audio and all that good stuff you know you, you can mute it that that you know that comes down to you but all the options are down here as you can see the video you can set it to full screen 
you know and and another cool thing about vlc players you can stretch it out like this if the movie is full screen but this one i don't believe it is so you can stretch it out and do all kind of cool things with it and tools tools is really really neat um because you can add effects and filters and things for the videos that you want but again that's not like something basic that uh, um you know a basic function of this player but let's go down to preferences i want to show you something really neat